Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Butch Gaboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. The subcompact sedan from Suzuki, the all-new Desire, plus a luxury van from Honda, the Odyssey EXV Navi CVT. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2018 Volkswagen E-Crafter and the 2019 Acura TLX. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two MPVs from Toyota and Mahindra, the Innova and the Silo. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the 2018 Isuzu Truck Fest in Cebu as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus. We'll be right back after this short break. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Suzuki. On center stage this week, we have the all-new Suzuki Desire. Watch this. Suzuki has done it again, building on a Suzuki classic to offer Filipino riders improved riding experience. A sedan beyond doubt, designed to fit today's wise and practical riders, the all-new Desire sports a sleek yet mature style that exudes confidence and excitement, all in a compact body that is both light and easy enough to use to take on any city riding adventure. An incredibly stylish yet comfortable sedan in a compact body, this is what the all-new Desire is all about. Desire is not just about style. It also delivers smart packaging, high fuel efficiency, superior comfort, and advanced safety features to give Filipino riders an elevated driving experience. Authentic design styling gives the Desire a wider and lower body, with the roofline, cabin, and surrounding area flowing smoothly from the sharply slanted A-pillar to the forward sloping C-pillar, which gives an authentic sedan look. The iconic polygonal front grille features a wide open design accentuated with chrome, which adds an elegant appeal, made to look sleeker and sharper. The upgraded model spans 3,995 millimeters in length, 
and 1,735 millimeters in width. It stands 1,515 millimeters tall with 145 millimeters ground clearance. The luxurious interiors up the ante for the all-new Desire. The polygonal interior and exterior mirrors are designed with black trims with a touch of silver accent to add sophistication. The steering wheel has a flat bottom for an edgier look and better leg clearance. It is equipped with audio controls for ease of listening. The high-grade model features a tachometer illuminated in white light and accentuated by silver accents. Relax while driving with front seats that promise an ultra-comfortable ride. You'll be sure everyone else will also enjoy the ride. Desire's rear seats have increased tandem distance for a larger legroom. A rear console tray provides storage space for gadgets to enjoy while on the go. A 12-volt socket even allows charging, and a rear AC provides added comfort. Desire's bigger tandem distance, which has been expanded by 69 millimeters, delivers greater comfort. The passenger hip point is lowered by 38 millimeters in front and 22 millimeters in rear to provide ample head clearance. The boot space can support 378 liters of luggage space, 73 liters more than the current Desire model. This means more space to fit all those bags for a business trip or quick getaway. Small storage spaces are added for maximum item accommodation. The all-new Desire rests on a new generation of Suzuki's platform, the Hardtech, which delivers enhanced fundamental vehicle performance, making it light yet rigid. The new smooth curving form effectively disperses impact energy in case of collision. Desire makes driving a lot easier with a new automated manual transmission called Auto Gear Shift or AGS, which features an intelligent shift control actuator that automatically operates the clutch and shifting operation. The AGS delivers a direct drive feel that offers the fuel efficiency of manual transmission. You will feel safe with Desire's total effective control technology, or TECT. This allows the sedan to effectively absorb impact on the body and disperse the collision energy across the frame to mitigate damage to the car and its occupants. In addition, the all-new Desire comes with SRS dual airbags. Find the color that reflects your personality. The all-new Desire GL variant comes in premium arctic white, metallic silky silver, and premium midnight black colors. While the GL Plus variant is available in premium oxford blue, premium sherwood brown, premium arctic white, premium midnight black, and metallic magma gray. Incredibly stylish and comfortable in a compact body, your sedan beyond doubt. The all-new Desire. That was the all-new Suzuki Desire, our first featured model for this week's car review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. You. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. 
It's back! Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the standard and premium luxury class? You choose. You decide. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. Pioneer Compact Car Distributor Suzuki Philippines recently opened its new 3S dealership in Calamba, Laguna. Suzuki Auto Calamba, which has been serving as a sales dealership catering to Filipino motorists in the Laguna area since October of 2016, is expanding its thrust to serve as sales, spare parts, and service dealership of the Suzuki network with a grand opening held last July 12, 2018. Uh, Karamba is a very strategic uh, area for us. Uh, there's uh, many business, agriculture, so I also know uh, many industrial uh, park in this area. So uh, we did not have a uh, authorized dealership for Suzuki Automobile yet. So once uh, we started talking with uh, our network, uh, finally uh, we are able to open the, this dealership today. Meanwhile, SeaTech kicks it up a notch with its professional charging series. The brand recognizes that with the increasing innovations in today's vehicles, the demands of the modern workshop has also evolved, especially with the requirement of powerful battery support when diagnostic or flash programming is undertaken. The first of the lot is the Pro 60. According to SeaTech, it is an innovative versatile and highly efficient 60A battery charger and power supply. The Pro 60 is set to restore, charge, and recondition the battery using a patented multi-step charging process. It is compatible with all types of 12-volt batteries, including lithium. SeaTech has been in business around 20 years. We were the first company in the world to introduce switch mode technology battery charging. Our company is, supplies 40 of the supercar companies around the world. Uh, so we have a lot of history with major car manufacturers. Quite obviously from the consumer charges, we've now progressed into uh, workshop charging and the next facet of our business will be electrical vehicle charging. If you're looking for more information, you can go to www.ctech.com. All our products are available on that website and our local distributor in the Philippines is Wado Marketing and all the products are already available here in the Philippines. Continuing, the Electric Vehicles Association of the Philippines, or EVAP, recently held the 6th Philippine Electric Vehicle Summit, themed Stepping Up Partnerships to Electrify Public and Private Transport, the event was held at the SMX Convention Center in the Mall of Asia Complex in Pasay City. Present on the Philippine Electric Summit were Nissan Philippines Incorporated, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation, and Hyundai. As part of the summit, Nissan introduced the compact five-door hatchback electric car, the Nissan Leaf, that was first introduced in the global market back in 2010. Since then, it is now regarded as the world's all-time best-selling highway-capable electric vehicle. Uh, at Nissan, we've been uh, heavily involved in the electric vehicle industry, actually for 70 years since we first developed our Tama. Uh, but uh, over the last 10 years, we've been the leader of the electric vehicle industry since we first introduced the Nissan LEAF. We've sold more than 350,000 of those around the world, so we are still the leader in the electric vehicle industry. Uh, and now we're introducing to the region our second generation Nissan LEAF, uh, which you can see 
just over here. A uh, fantastic vehicle which has had a huge reception from customers all around the world uh, because of the combination of all of the experience that we have from having been the leader in electric vehicles for 10 years, having our fantastic engineers and designers uh, put all of their expertise into this car, and then bringing some of the new technology from a longer range, bigger battery, more powerful motor, exciting new design, uh, but also some of our uh, autonomous vehicle, ProPilot technology, and things like the e-pedal, which enables a customer to do all of their driving just with a single pedal. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines brought in their iMIV, also a five-door hatchback electric car, which is an electric version of the Mitsubishi i. The iMIV is the world's first modern, highway-capable, mass-produced electric vehicle. Also brought in by Mitsubishi is the Outlander PHEV, which is the best-selling plug-in hybrid in all of Europe, with over 100,000 units sold as of January 2018. So Mitsubishi uh, Motors is the world's first mass producer of an electric vehicle. That's why that they like to go ahead with an you know, electric vehicle so that you know, we can make the you know, environment you know, uh, easier for that, the human being. So uh, even in the Philippines, so far we didn't promote or launch at any electric vehicle. But as, uh, I hope we'd like to have a, you know, some car like a PHV Outlander in the Philippines. So, And finally, taking off from the success of the Peugeot 3008 SUV and Traveler MPV, Peugeot Philippines recently announced the arrival of an all-new variant of a seven-seater SUV in the Philippine market, the Peugeot 5008. According to Peugeot, the all-new 5008 is a spacious cabin for both second and third row passengers. Second row occupants can enjoy longitudinal adjustments to maximize legroom and even recline the seat backrest angle for comfort on each of three independent seats, while the third row occupants can enjoy generous levels of leg and headroom. Powering the all-new Peugeot 5008 SUV is a 1.6-liter turbo high-pressure petrol engine, also found in the petrol variant of the Peugeot 3008 SUV. The all-new Peugeot 5008 SUV is now available in select Peugeot dealerships nationwide with a suggested retail price of 2,990,000 pesos. The Peugeot 5008 is now available on display in our Metro Manila dealerships, but our, for our customers in the provincial areas, they can start ordering and they'll be on display uh, soon in those areas. The all-new Peugeot uh, 5008, with all its features, uh, with all its offerings, unique uh, uh, styling, a very high efficient, uh, low displacement, 1.6 liter petrol engine um, with uh, all-terrain capabilities, seven seats, very modular, fits any size, ample size, even on the third row. It all comes only at the price of uh, 2.990 million. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We 
made it. The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go-anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards! Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobiles of the Year in the standard and premium luxury classes. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. This week on Head to Head, we will put on the spotlight two MPVs available in the market today. One has been in the market for a long time now, while the other one is a newcomer. Are you curious what these are? Let's all find out. MPVs or the multi-purpose vehicles are expected to deliver efficiency, effectivity and versatility, especially that they would be carrying a group of seven. We have this week the Toyota Innova and the Mahindra Silo to compare and contrast. Let's start off with the two MPVs engine. The Innova is a 2.8 liter D4D engine that puts out 171 PS of power and 360 Newton meters of torque, while the Mahindra Silo is a 2.2 liter M Hawk turbo diesel that produces 120 PS of power and 280 Newton meters of torque. For the suspension, it is worth noting that the Innova and Silo have similar chassis and suspension setups. Both use a body-on-frame construction, double wishbone suspension in the front, and a live axle setup at the rear. The two are also rear-wheel drives. Safety-wise, the silo is equipped with dual front airbags, as well as anti-lock brakes. Top-spec models add heat cooling for the brakes. In the Innova, it gets dual front airbags as well, plus knee airbags for the driver. Side and curtain airbags are reserved for the rain-stopping variant. Anti-lock brakes are standard across the line. The two MPVs also don't run short on their infotainment system. The Innova comes with either a two-din head unit or a touchscreen. All but the base model come with Bluetooth and USB ports. Standard in all is a CD player, auxiliary in, and MP3. The top two trim lines gain navigation as well. As for the silo, base models use a one-din stereo with CD, USB, and MP3. Meanwhile, top-spec variants get a two-din sound system. CD, USB, and MP3 compatibility is also present and gains an SD card reader. Moving to their exteriors, the two have different ways of showcasing what an MPV should look like. The Innova features sweeping lines with a bold front fascia and a distinct hexagonal grille. 
long wraparound headlights complete the look of the front. Moving to its side, it has a distinct character line that can be seen on the middle section of the MPV along with a pinched third row window. The entire range sits on 16-inch alloy wheels except for the base model which come with 16-inch steel rims with wheel covers. At the rear is a reverse L taillight and it's complemented by a rear tailgate spoiler. In contrast with the Innova, the silo sees a tall, upright design. At the front are large headlights and a slim six-slat grille. Black trim surrounds the bottom half of the car and all variants get step boards as standard. Meanwhile, the tall windows further accent the silo's height. At the rear is a unique tailgate design that opens sidewards and at the corners are vertical taillights. These two MPVs almost come close to each other in comparison, but thanks to their differences, each is unique in their own way. Whichever you prefer, trust that you've got the right choice. That was the Toyota Innova and the Mahindra Silo, two popular MPVs in the Philippine market today, our feature on this week's Head to Head. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing of this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2018 Volkswagen e-Crafter. Let's watch this. The all-electric van from Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles, the e-Crafter, will be making its UK debut at the Commercial Vehicle Show at the NEC in Birmingham from 24 to the 26th of April, ahead of the real-world testing beginning with UK customers at the start of May. The first test vehicles were handed over to a group of major European customers at Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles headquarters in Hanover in December. By allowing the vehicle to undergo tests with selected fleet operators, the company will be able to incorporate findings and learnings into the final design and production version of the zero-emission van. Like the conventionally fueled and multi-awarding Crafter, the e-Crafter was designed in collaboration with customers, in particular, those whose vehicles cover between 70 to 100 kilometers per day, sometimes involving many starts and stops. These parameters apply to around 85% of the trips made in an urban setting according to an analysis of more than 210,000 driving profiles with over 1,500 customers. The e-Crafter has been tailored precisely to these typical city operations with its 100 kilowatt power output range of around 160 kilometers and top speed limited to 90 kilometers per hour. The e-Crafter's lithium-ion battery is completely integrated into the underbody, meaning the standard vehicle's entire cargo volume, 10.7 M3, is fully usable. A maximum payload of between 1.0 and 1.75 tons is available. At a CCS charging station, supplying the battery can be charged to 80% in just 45 minutes. From a wall box, charging time to 100% is around 5.5 hours. We'll have our special feature segment after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. From the everyday, the new Toyota Rush.
rediscover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. It's back. Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the standard and premium luxury class? You choose, you decide. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Cebu, or the Queen City of the South, has been a venue of the Isuzu Track Fest in Visayas and Mindanao region for the past 10 years. Now on its 11th year, Isuzu once again displayed its best, biggest, most durable and versatile trucks suitable for every use, every road and weather condition. Up next highlights of the Isuzu Track Fest recently held in Cebu, our special feature this week here on Autofocus. We are proud to bring you the Isuzu Truck Fest all the way from Manila to Cebu. This event is not just about showcasing our latest lineup of trucks, but also to highlight the Isuzu advantage to our Cebuano customers. No downtime, higher fare efficiency, less emission, and lower maintenance cost, and strong after sale support to name a few. event we showcase all the best selling models of uh, Isuzu trucks, all the variants from the one tanner up to the heavy duty trucks and aside from that these are all Euro 4 variants by the way and uh, new models introduced late last year and early this year uh, all the ones that are compliant with the Euro 4 guidelines of the government. with the Cebu leg because here we are displaying our um, 11 vehicles that we delivered all the way from Manila. These are the um, D-Max FlexiCube, ideal for small and medium enterprises looking for vehicles that can use for both business and family. We have the QKR uh, 77 uh, truck, uh, cabin chassis truck that can be used as a uh, flexi truck or even as, as the platform for the Philippine Jeepney Modernization Program. We have the light duty and series vehicles. These are vehicles with uh, GBW ranges all the way to almost 10 tons. We have the medium duty F-series from 11 tons all the way to 26 tons. And last but not the least, 
we have the um, A-series and C-series vehicle that has a gross capacity mass of all the way to 60 ton. We're very happy with the Isuzu Trackpex because this is our way of showcasing our best and latest in terms of Isuzu diesel engine technology. Or our vehicles are now Euro 4 uh, compliant with blue power technology. This means that your vehicles are very fuel efficient, delivers optimum power and torque. Aside from that, we now have a brand new cab that are bigger and better from the previous models. Also, as part of the uh, 2018 Isuzu Track Fest launch, we are introducing what we call the Isuzu Track Advantage. This is our advantage in terms of providing excellent after sale support. It comes from having over 41 dealerships around the Philippines, providing excellent service and parts availability. Our parts are now coming from our central warehouse in Taguig and available immediately nationwide. Aside from that, we have a pool of uh, Japanese engineers and Filipino engineers that help our customer make a wiser decision when it comes to truck. We also have what we call the Isuzu Medic. These are uh, what we call our emergency vehicles that goes directly to customer in case they need immediate servicing. And last but not the least, Isuzu probably provides the best in terms of training. We conduct regular trainings for drivers, for mechanics, and uh, we just recently launched our fuel efficiency driving. So all these are part of the Isuzu program to make sure that we will be able to serve our customer better. Isuzu Philippines Track Fest in Cebu, this week's special feature on Autofocus. And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Acura TLX. Let's watch this. Fresh off last year's comprehensive redesign, the 2019 Acura TLX will begin landing in Acura dealerships nationwide starting April 4. Given the resounding sales success of the V6-powered TLX A spec, Acura has expanded its increasingly popular sport appearance package to include 2.4-liter TLX models. What's more, with TLX sales currently up 15% year-over-year, the new 2.4-liter A-Spec is poised to continue to grow TLX's market share in the mid-size sedan category. What is A-Spec? A-Spec amps up the sporty character of TLX by way of exclusive design elements inside and out, starting with a matte black diamond pentagon grille surrounded by a dark chrome border, an aggressive lower front fascia with a broad center air opening flanked by round LED fog lights and a dark appearance for the signature dual-eye LED headlights. A spec exclusive 19-inch alloy wheels finished in shark gray paint are wrapped with 245 series tires. A spec exterior upgrades continue at the rear with a gloss black deck lid spoiler, smoked LED taillights, and an exclusive fascia featuring a lower diffuser accented by 4-inch round dual exhaust finishers. A matte black side window surround and A-Spec badging on the front fenders and rear deck lid completes the look. Inside, the TLX A-Spec features more aggressively bolstered front seats with high contrast stitching and piping, red LED ambient light piping, red driver's meter highlights, a black headliner and pillar treatment, brushed aluminum look instrument panel garnish, and an exclusive thick-rimmed steering wheel with A-Spec badging. A-Spec V6 models equipped with SHAWD also get a quicker steering ratio for increased response along with a stiffer spring rate and rear stabilizer bar for improved body control. A-Spec models incorporate the same feature set as TLX models fitted with the technology package with the addition of ventilated front seats, a wireless charging pad, and the aforementioned ambient interior lighting.
Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Rediscover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. From the everyday, the new Toyota Rush. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go-anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobiles of the Year in the standard and premium luxury classes. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. On center stage this week, we have our second feature car the Honda Odyssey EXV Navi CVT. Watch this. Here we have the Honda Odyssey EXV Navi, which is powered by a 2.4L double overhead cam inline four that gives out 175 PS of power and 226 Newton meters of torque. This engine is coupled with a continuously variable transmission. Its suspension setup is composed of McPherson strut at the front and torsion axle beam at the rear. The exterior design of the EXV Navi is highlighted by Honda's latest design language, which features a new aero bumper that is matched with a bold version of the company's standard grille. This front design also comes with LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. On the side, the look is highlighted by the 17-inch alloy wheels. Meanwhile, inside the EXV Navi, the captain cradle seats with Ottoman, armrest and holder are wrapped in leather upholstery, making the seats comfortable to sit on for the driver and passengers. In addition, the seats have an 8-way configuration. 
Additionally, highlighting the interiors of the EXV Navi is its infotainment system that is composed of 7-inch touchscreen display audio with navigation that offers Bluetooth, HDMI port, USB in connectivity, and has six speakers. What's more special with the EXV Navi is the additional technological safety features which top up Honda's standard ones. It includes Smart Parking Assist System with new sensor-based Back-In, Parallel-In, and Parallel-Out feature, Multi-View Camera System with Dynamic Guidelines, and the Cross-Traffic Monitor Blind Spot Information. That was the Honda Odyssey EXV Navi CVT on Spotlight as our second feature model this week. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.